Alright, so far I've uh, been exclusively sorcerer characters because I like that class. But, you know, we here might as well take a look at the others. So there's Druid, Rogue, Sorcerer, the Convincer, and Barbarian. Why are druids seemingly fat? Seems strange. Uh, whatever. I don't care. Um, sure. It was forged as a refuge uh, from the war between the I should find better shelter before I freeze. So I have a mace and I wander around carrying a box. Alright, so the skills I have to have. Which is honestly the main thing that like, I don't remember as a sorcerer character actually starting with two skill points. Well, it could just be that I didn't pay attention. Now, in Diablo 2, uh, Druids were in this weird uh, position where, depending on what you wanted to do with the character, you could either build the character as a ranged attacker who uh, used magic, or you could build the character as a melee fighter who either used bear form for tough but powerful attacks, or werewolf form for speed combat, but also melee. Although bear form did have some attacks you could that were special to it that you could use for ranged attacks as well. So let's look at what we got here. It's like the elemental stuff that the uh, druids had. Yeah, this kind of sort of feels like that. It's like like this is a, a, one of the werebear things, werewolf. Then we have. Lightning attack, a wind based attack, and a um, earth attack. Hmm. Kind of interesting. You know, um, Try something. Yes. We sure why not. So, spirits. That would be your equivalent of MP. Okay. Uh, core skills. No, core skills are the ones in the second tier here. So, yeah, this makes them uh, a little more expensive to cast, which might not really be a problem in exchange for a little bit more damage. Oh, and you can put up to three skill points in this, so, you know, you could uh, pump it a little bit. Lightning Storm, an electrical ability that's an AoE, I guess. 
Ah, it's a channeled ability, so you have to, like, hold the button to uh, have it continue uh, raining down lightning bolts. And the longer you uh, channel it, the more damage it does. Interesting. Uh, I'm genuinely not sure how this works. Does this mean that uh, if, if you chain channel it, it will uh, continue to stay the same size and not um, go back to the default size? Eight percent chance seems really small, but when it's an AOE that's hitting ten or twenty enemies, hmm. I'm not sure it would actually be quite that uh, potent, though. Tornado, which, yeah, Diablo 2, that was a thing. 28% chance to spawn a second tornado, sure. Slowed enemies. Note that this is something where it always happens. It's not a, like a 20% chance of happening. No, that always happens. 10% chance of becoming vulnerable for three seconds. I think I'd go with the other one if I bothered with one of these at all. Because quite frankly, these enhancement things, you don't need to bother with them at all. Some of them are good. Some of them I, I just like, uh, why would someone want this? I, like I said, you just don't ha need to use them. Landslide! Country boulders. Boulders hit enemies. The... Oh, this actually has an immobilize effect. That's kind of cool. Terremote. Oh. I have no idea what it's talking about. Pillars of Earth. I really don't know. Yeah, basically increases your critical hit chance against enemies in melee range by 2%. I.e., you know, your werewolf or werebear uh, melee fighter. And here we have more werewolf stuff. Now this is interesting because in fact this is kind of calls on you to specialize in either werewolf or werebear, even though it allows you to use both, or at least it allows you to invest in both. I'm not really sure how much you can actually use both. Yeah, this is what one of the things I would say is that Pulverize is an AoE, but it's not actually a melee attack. Overpower, why should we do that? Okay. Bonus damage based on your life. Oh, it stuns them. Well, that is kind of sort of one of the things that werebears were good for in Diablo 2. They did stun enemies uh, more than most classes did. Damage reduction is an interesting effect for a bear. Mm -hmm. Eee, poison!
Yep, regenerating werewolf. Yep, that's the thing. Yeah, if you're going for pure DPS, Primal Shred would actually be what you want over Raging Shred. This is kind of sort of like a boss killing attack, not a, you know, general usage attack. Again, that was cool. one of the things with Werebears and um, Werewolves in D2, is that Werebears tended to be more about the AoE damage, and Werewolves would A lot of the time, just kill their enemies one at a time. Ooh. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, do it. You're tough. Though. Yeah, this is very similar to that ice skill that sorcerers have. Different tags, though, so. Some of the things that it benefits from aren't the same. To be honest, um, Unstoppable is actually a very good effect. Um, this is actually pretty cool. It's like, you know, you have the shield around you, the shield black wears down. The shield uh, expires due to its uh, time limit. Then the shield explodes and damages the and it right enemies. Yeah. I'm genuinely not sure exactly what this does. Oh, well. There's like, reading it, it sounds like, um... Uh, I just don't understand. <sighs> okay, maybe it's telling tell me that we get seven. Oh, I think I get it now, okay. I need to stack... Uh, fortification points until my fortification points are equal to or greater than my life total. So I would have to um, do it like six times because that only gives me 18% per casting. Uh, doesn't seem all that great. And then, after you manage to acquire it, you only get 10% reduced damage. Granted, 10% reduced damage, uh, if it's actually, like, properly uh, multiplicative, that's not terrible. Cyclone Armor. And, yeah, 10% damage reduction, because it's Cyclone Armor. Um, sure. Knockback plus slow. Slow for 70% when it's a guaranteed thing is pretty nice, although it only lasts two seconds. Lasting two seconds, though, is something that's presumably something that they can have reapplied to them. Okay, once every 10 seconds, it uh, gives you a 2 second damage reduction buff. Um, sure. Not, um, particularly strong, it would seem, but whatever. Okay, uh, making your enemies that get knocked back by Cyclone Armor vulnerable is pretty good. Knock back, wow, well, hit the partner. Yay, another blood, uh, er, werewolf thing. 
this is totally a thing from Diablo 2. Werewolves in Diablo 2 would have a thing where they, like, fight their enemy and regain health be uh, from fighting them. Although, this one isn't an actual attack. This is seemingly a self-buff kind of thing. When I was thinking of, you would actually attack the enemy in order to drain life. Where is the cooldown? Ooh, attack speed up. Great. Twitchy Spirit. Alright, let's see. Reduce enemy damage reduction for a few seconds. This is an odd one because the fact that it only lasts four seconds and the cooldown is almost 22. Not a particularly cash or er, uh, it's not something that you can uh, apply and keep it there. Oh, hey, look, fortification, yay! Although, if you combine this with this, it would actually, uh, presumably, at least. Uh, cause your fortification thing to uh, math up faster. Oh well. Oh hey, debilitating rock heals you. Uh, I actually sound, think that sounds pretty good. Slows the enemies. Nah, don't care. Alright, let's see here. Wolves. This is one of their pet abilities. Summon two wolves to uh, follow you around and uh, attack you with wherever you can. Let's see here. Bonus damage to mobilize, stun, slowed, or poison enemies, which, hey, you have lots of things to do. thing is, I don't think this stacks. It, it does a flat 20% if one or more of those status effects is present, but I don't think it actually goes up. So, if you want to use it, you would need to choose which kind of fighter you want to use it on. Or, not the fighter, but, ugh. Choose which kind of debuff you want to use to trigger it. Ah. And getting fortified be cut from your wolves. Yeah, okay, that sounds fun. Get a crit strike, wolves gain attack speed, sure. Interesting. I'm not sure we consider this good. This would require you to rather intensely specialize in the werewolf stuff or werebear stuff. Uh, I don't know. Then again, this entire skill tree so far seems to be uh, hinged around the crowd control effects, like slowed, stunned, immobilized, or knockback. So, this one, I think, actually, on second thought, um, pet spam and elemental spam would really probably be the best way to go if there's not the um, uh, melee fighter. Just forming into human form, you gain two spirit from doing that. Uh, what? Uh, it's it's not that useful. Like seriously, only two spirit? Uh, 
let's see here. Poison Creeper. Yeah, classic Diablo 2 pet. Um, so, so summon a monster that follows you around and does stuff to enemies. Mobilize increase slightly. Hmm. Bonus crit strike chance is nice. 20% increase is pretty significant. Uh, longer poison duration. Uh, I'm not sure how uh, the AI works with target choice because if the AI for Poison Creeper in this version likes to spread the damage out, then this is actually good. If it sticks with a single target, no. Anyway, let's see here. Mm, Ravens! This isn't a proper pet, it's more like a buff, I think. I'm not really sure exactly. So, what else we got? Okay, this is interesting because here we have a skill that actually has um, four modifiers for it. Hmm. Storm skills make enemies vulnerable a little bit some of the time. Okay. Increase the duration of Hurricane and Cataclysm. Uh, plus the chance of dealing damage to vulnerable and mobile to stunned enemies. Interesting. Having them get struck by lightning because you immobilize them would be very painful for them. And then we have this, which is a uh, chance to immobilize just because you hit them lightning damage paired with chance to do lightning damage because you mobilize them. Yeah! That sounds fun. This is probably compensation because the fact that the druids uh, elementalist skills in Diablo 2 really weren't all that good. All the druids I can think of either uh, went werebear or werewolf because of the way that the uh, uh, elemental skills scale. And. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, this just seems to like give you free lightning bolts because reasons. And I think it would combine with this uh, to give you even more lightning bolts. Okay, this 32 damage. Hmm. It slows enemies and makes them vulnerable, maybe. Boulder, yeah, that's a classic one. Bonk enemy with rock, and uh, wait for rock to get done and see how much damage it actually does. Because if I remember right, in Diablo 2, this would just move straight, and if the enemy got knocked back to the side, um, it might miss them uh, after the first one.
Mm, let's see what we got here. Bonus damage to... No, this is only for Earth skills. So you would need to specialize in Earth skills to actually make good use of this. Again, if you're fortified and you're doing Earth skills. Where, bonus healing as a werebear. Um, next skills. Well, werebear. This is a werebear ability. Alright, well, we got here. Poison enemies are slowed, but not by much. Critical strikes, werewolf skills deal 8% of the base damage, just poison damage over 4 seconds. So, this actually would act combined reasonably well because of the fact that you would basically poison everything. Alright, well, let's see what else we got. All right, one of these four abilities. Right, ultimate skills, got it. Petrify. <sighs> yeah, he's like, I have to choose one of these, like. And this one, that's a relatively long cooldown. Not, not a fan of that good cooldown at all. Nature magic skills deal bonus damage to leads. That seems pretty useful. Bonus uh, damage to vulnerable enemies. Bonus damage only for storm skills, though. Uh, again, stun them on ice or whatever. Sure. If you're a storm specialist, yeah, this would probably help a lot for druids. I haven't seen anything amazing for uh, Nekoas or... Um, yeah. Storm, Earth, boom. Okay, Cataclysm. This is um, a lot like the whole like lightning storm thing in Diablo 2 where you use a skill that creates a buff effect on you and then while you have the buff, enemies near you take damage. Kind of like, you know, one of those AoEs you cast except that it follows you and it stays centered on you. So it looks like what this was is they want you to specialize in something. Wind, ice, earth, or werewolf, or wherever. Alright, well, let's see what we got here. Oh, uh, more storm stuff. Earth stuff. Earth stuff. Werewolf stuff. Uh, sort of combined stuff. Yes. Well, I guess like either werewolf or werebear. Werewolf gives you bonus attack speed, werebear gives you increased damage. And this also is like uh, you get one of these six things, and uh, whichever one you choose locks out the other five. Bonus life in werebear form. And you get uh, bonus damage if you're healthy. I actually don't like the Lupine Ferocity one. It's like, it sounds kind of useful, but it's supposed to be because it just strikes me as being a lower power level than the rest of the stuff. Alright, well, I don't really feel like playing a druid right now. Alright, well, I'm going to save an exit there. 
and go check out the other classes.